What's going on, everybody? It's Dustin here, the pro picker, here with a thrift store video for you guys. Starting today's video off at the Valley Thrift Store. I'm gonna go to numerous thrift stores today in this video, and then afterwards, I'm going to do some what's sold on eBay, just a handful of items to kind of give you an idea of some of the things I sell on my eBay store. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, first thing I see is this Casper deal here. It's sealed, no real value, unfortunately, from what I can see. Um, I had to start off without a cart because they were so busy that they ran out of carts, but somebody put one back, so I went to go grab that real quick. Um, guys, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel, turning on the bell notifications, uh, liking my video, and uh, commenting down below, and following me on Instagram at Pro Picker Ohio. And uh, that's it for self promotion until the end, as usual. Thank you very much. So, uh, kind of taking a quick look here at the toys section. Um, so, this was on Monday, which was yesterday. And this is the 25% uh, off customer appreciation day they have each week. So um, a little bit of a discount. It's the day I like to come. Uh, their pricing can kind of be all over the place. Sometimes it's uh, kind of reasonable. Other times it's high. So this brings a lot of items more into my buying range. So I put up this non-comp here. There's only one auction for this item. It's like five bucks brand new in box. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'll be the only one with it. Uh, it is a US shipper. So why not i guess maybe i'll try like 39.99 for it it's uh different um and if somebody really wants it uh they might be willing to pay that so i'm gonna take a gamble on it it's good new stock um so i see these justin boots and i know that they're pretty decent on ebay but they ha and they were on the shelf instead of the uh shoe rack and uh they wanted like $28.99 for them, so we're talking a little over 20 bucks still with the 25% off before tax. And I just didn't want to pay that much for them. I, I, I was uncertain because the prices were kind of all over the place what I would get for it. But I found this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, wooden uh, clock here from the movie, the original movie. And uh, it is missing the hands there. I don't know if the clock portion's operational, but I think it looks awesome. Uh, none are sold that I can see. Two listings around um, the 125 range, it looks like. I'm going to pay $7 for this today and take a gamble on it. And just because it's a cool wall piece, I think I'm just going to ask like 70 for it or something shipped. So uh, that's coming to my eBay store soon because I think uh, it's cool. I loved that movie as a kid. So a little bit of nostalgia point on me there, but you just don't see things like this that often. So um, when you see it, grab it when it's cheap. Um, I know I talk about Halloween costumes a lot, specifically at this store, since they always tend to have them. This would have been a buck fifty, but I do open it to inventory it because um, it's a fairy costume, right? And you know the tops there, uh, so it's like the bottom of the costume or whatever that is. Um, but it's missing, uh, most importantly, the wings. And yeah, so. Um, Without that, I'm not really interested in it, that, which is a shame because it's a Ruby's costume. And they're kind of, um, the you know, it's better than the Wally World style costumes that you get. It's kind of up. They make some of the Spirit Halloween costumes, actually. Um, but, yeah, I do put that back. I found I just found one of these that I put back for missing dangly things. They're like the ice skaters. I think that's Christy Tamaguchi or whatever. Yeah, I'm a Gucci. <laughs> Tamagotchi's the uh, Tamagotchi. No, that's the pets. Okay, I'm done. But anyways, uh, I did put that back because it was missing some of the dangly things. But I noticed in the media section that these vinyls were signed to uh, Betty and Don. And um, so this is a Running Scared soundtrack. I don't know who signed it. I can't really uh, make it out. But it's 69 cents, 25% off. We're talking like 50 cents to take a uh, flyer on this. Um, there is no uh, sold comp. I don't even see this record listed. Um, 
looking for the Jimmy K's uh, or looking at the Jimmy K's here. This is also signed to the same people, Don and Betty. And uh, 50 cents here, uh, this is signed by Jimmy K's. So uh, these aren't signatures I really think people are trying to knock off. So I don't feel um, unsafe, you know, needing like authentication or anything like that to get a buyer. Um, I don't know where we're going to list it. Uh, I don't know. 50 plus. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think in the comments? That sounds reasonable, right? <laughs> um, but with that, that's really all I pick up at that store. So I do uh, head over to the Salvation Army. Um, sometimes I get lucky at Valley and I buy enough to where I can come home and just focus on editing and listing. Um, but that's not ha what happened to me on Monday. So I ended up uh, pounding the pavement more because you stay out until you find enough. And sometimes if you're finding a lot, you just keep at it too because you can find some more. So here's kind of an interesting uh, item here. This is a Blu-ray player that they have priced at $100, guys. So it's Oppo, uh, it's a the BDP-83. And I didn't believe it at first, and I looked it up. I mean, I you know, that's why we have these things. Smartphones are smart. And this, this is like crazy. So they're sold ones for um, $349 shipped. However, and they sell new for like $800. And it's a premium Blu-ray player. I let it sit there for a second because I'm like, I don't know. Um, and I'm going to mention that the sell-through on these isn't incredible. Um, so it's going to take some time. There's multiple listed and they seem to sell every now and then. Um, but we'll get back to that as I test out this Brother Printer copier here. And everything seems to be working um, as I plug it in here and kind of take a look at everything. Printers can be a little bit uh, fickle, but this one actually had, uh, but I love selling them by the way, but this one actually had paper inside of it. Um, so I wanted to test out the copy feature. So I go ahead, uh, grab this, um, whatever it is, uh, dresser, drawer, and uh, use that as a uh, table. So obviously I'm not gonna try and test the copy feature and it's tilted all weird because that's probably not a fair test. And I figure I'll just test the instru uh, copying the instruction manual. Now, this would add a few minutes to my video if I showed you how long it took. Brother is a, a very good printer brand so it should work fast and amazingly. Um, I have no clue why this one wasn't. Um, it didn't have any indication that it was low on ink but it did finally copy. However, um, it took minutes and really it should be taking seconds. Like we should be talking about your page per minute is a standard when it comes to printer copiers. And this was like 0.3 page per minute or 0.2 page per minute. So this would have been a great deal at, I think they wanted 15, 20 bucks for it. Would have been a great deal. However, unfortunately, I had to pass because um, if it's just an ink issue, that would have been cool. But it's as is, so I can't just go buy the ink, test it out, bring it back. Um, so I do have to uh, pass, unfortunately. But back to the Blu-ray player here. Um, so, yeah, the sell-through seems a little bit slow. I don't know how long I'm going to sit on this. I do have a quick chat and uh, they were able to help me out on this item. I don't do this all the time. It's really just on items where I'm like super on the fence or need a little bit help, uh, a little bit of help to uh, like bulk buys or bigger items to get over the finish line. And they were able to uh, help me out at uh, $65. So that's what I ended up spending on it uh, today. I think that's fair for the risk that I'm going to take and uh, the time I'm going to have my money tied up. Um, they're really cool here. They've, uh, you know, uh, you know, they're very um, helpful uh, when it comes to uh, kind of helping me uh, make deals on things. Again, I don't ask all the time because I don't want to take advantage or anything like that. I do end up passing on that clock you see there, um, which I guess is a good thing because I couldn't find a comp for it on my phone. But right when I came home, um, I found a comp, uh, and it was exactly kind of what they were asking for it. So I wouldn't have really made any money. So 
Um, I'm, I'm thrilled with the, with the Blu-ray player once it sells because I'm going to make a good amount of money, but it is going to be inventory that I sit on uh, for a little bit, I think. Uh, who knows? It might sell quickly. Uh, there is a market for premium products and almost anything. Um, I didn't even know people bought Blu-ray players that were nicer than Samsung. And, uh, you know, that was ignorance on my part. So uh, at the uh, 3000 item Goodwill here and uh, checking out what they've put out on the new stock carts, um, I'm going to have to say... Um, they're starting to prove uh, that they may be putting out 3,000 items a day. Um, so I know I questioned that a few weeks ago. And I, I, I'm just a skeptic by nature. So uh, 3,000 seems like a lot of volume. But uh, I have been coming in here and seeing a lot of fresh stuff come through. So who knows? They might be hitting it. Uh, these are some interesting bookends. I don't know why you would have golf bags on your bookends. Uh, maybe for your golf tip book collection your uh, golf book club collection okay that didn't work as well as a joke as i thought it would in my head so um yeah the uh there's a cat um teapot there and really just looking around um for anything i can uh, obviously as usual make a buck on and i love buying starbucks cups so um, this one's actually going to be a pass. It has that damage on top, and at five bucks I won't make anything really. But the pineapple one's actually a really rare one, and uh, that's going to be uh, 60 shipped. It's got a little wear, so I'll probably be at 50 shipped. But for five bucks I'm in, and uh, 9.99 for this KitchenAid um, Dutch oven. And uh, yeah, it usually sells for about 50 shipped. So I'm going to ask. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask that 54. They wanted 9.99, so not unreasonable. Um, hard to see these, but these are like Disney princesses, and they had four of them up here for like 12.99. They they're not really selling well on eBay. They're uh, shockingly they were really big dolls. In fact, I went back today and two of the four had already sold. Which I mean, it's all about venue, right? I mean, kids see them and want them, or parent somebody wants them and thinks it's good. it was a good deal. It's just weird that they're not selling for much on eBay. Um, I did notice that they put out some new video games. Uh, Just Dance 4 is always a pretty solid pickup when it's cheap. Um, it trades for like eight or nine bucks to GameStop. Sells for about 13 or 14 on eBay. Uh, $3 right there. And uh, just kind of sorting through everything, I do pick up this Haunted Mansion as well for the PlayStation 2. Uh, about a $12 game. Uh, probably right on the low, uh, lowest end I want to uh, most I want to pay uh, to value ratio there I guess I saw these anime DVDs and I tried looking them up with the photo feature and everything um, I just couldn't figure out what they were um, I left them there they ended up selling I probably should have grabbed them uh, instinct told me to grab them but I, I didn't and uh, I kind of don't really regret it that much I have plenty of stuff um, the Cinderella here um, at $3.99, I did have to pass on. Um, it's only selling for like 10 bucks new right now on eBay. Um, so what you see is what I bought, the Dutch oven. Um, I've got the two uh, video games there. And guys, just going to let you know that I make a crazy uh, DVD score uh today tuesday so when this video comes out that's gonna be in my thursday video um definite bolo for you guys so um just something to uh look forward to there um it's it's pretty crazy how much that uh single dvd can be worth um and with that guys yeah i'm gonna get out of here uh with my goods and uh get into some of my uh what's sold on ebay uh I guess segment. All right, guys, wanted to get outside some today. So uh, in the backyard here, gonna do some uh, what's sold on eBay here. I'm not gonna do like a big long list of everything that's sold or anything like that. Uh, just gonna go grab some random ones off my phone here and uh, talk about them with you. So here we go. Um, 
I guess first thing um, is this gold Coca-Cola semi-truck die-cast toy from Hard Toy 1993. It was brand new and it's something I picked up at the estate sale where I bought all of those duck decoys. Um, yeah, so 75 bucks for that shift. I had $40 into everything I bought at that sale and I've done very well on everything uh, from that sale so far. In fact, I believe I've sold almost everything that I picked up there. And then next, um, the, uh, some electric shears, clippers for goats, llamas, alpacas. So this was an Amazon return I picked up back when they used to do $5 a day last year. I've sat on it for probably a good four months now and uh, sold it for $74.99 free shipping. And then the Universal Thread High Rise Distress Distressed Skinny Jeans there. So those are 27 bucks shipped and uh, sold that um, from a Target palette. That's where I picked that up. A Tanita Interscan Body Composition Monitor Scale. So it's fancy smart scale basically. Um, and $69.99 on that. And uh, picked that up at Goodwill for somewhere around $7 six or seven bucks sold a sugarloaf betty boop world traveler greek doll i paid like a dollar 99 for it new with tag i think that was goodwill uh it wasn't one of my more recent videos um looking through here uh sold a bikeroo comfort seat so um i i've gotten these through thrifts and through amazon return in the past they do okay uh 32.99 on that um the shipping can be a little um a little awkward on them but yeah bike seat there for 32.99 i think uh I, I think i did get that at the amazon return bin and i have six dollars into it so not terrible um the one Odeo Fusion A71. It's a Amazon brand. Picked that up at the Amazon bins uh, for six dollars. Thirty nine ninety nine free shipping on those headphones. Then uh, sold some Puritan Pride DHEA. It's a supplement for fifteen ninety nine free ship. Uh, but it's not free ship uh, because they're going to pay for international shipping through the global shipping program. So uh, that's uh, 16 bucks right there shipped. I mean, it's free shipping to the global shipping program center and then it goes out from there. And uh, sold a cobalt lithium ion battery for 118. I got that from the Lowe's mystery box video. Um, and yeah, um, I need to reach out to him about my second box. Things didn't really go as planned with that. Well, at least as I had planned. <laughs> Maybe how they had it, I don't know. But yeah, I sold this uh, finally for 118. I had it for about four or five months, so uh, kind of a long tail on that one. Um, sold the four pack smart Wi Fi plug remote control socket deal here, $24.99, and uh, ended up. Uh, getting um, that uh, sale for the global shipping program as well. Sold a pair of roller derby skates from uh, the, I must want to say village outlet, Valley Thrift Store for $69 there, free ship. Uh, had picked them up there, uh, I want to say probably around the five, six dollar range. It's in one of my videos. Um, Sold a Pex Nips limited edition uh, hand wash. And so this is like dead stock and ended up selling it for $22.99 free ship. Sold and I'll oh, pick that up at Goodwill too for pretty cheap. I can't remember, but it wasn't much. Um, sold an IO gear universal Wi Fi and wireless adapter, $34.99 there, free ship. I think that's an Amazon bin. A uh, note from buyer, please ship this ASAP, thanks. Will do, buddy. And uh, sold a Star Wars, the story of Return of the Jedi vinyl LP, 16 page book, uh, sealed for $34.99. I picked that up at that uh, estate sale where I passed on some uh, 60s Mets cards, or late 60s Mets cards, early 70s Mets cards. Um, if you remember that video and I uh, got $34.99 for it. I overpaid on it. Um, however, I'll still make probably, you know, a good eight or $9 in profit. 
I uh, sold a six light brushed nickel LED spotlight track lighting kit for $49.99. I know I got this at the Amazon bin, uh, free shipping. This is just a, a few of the sales I've made recently. Uh, wanted to run through because I know I've been getting requests for what sold. Um, I mean, we sell three to 400 items a month, so to go through all of them uh, would probably need its own dedicated channel, but to pop in on occasion just to kind of share with you uh, some of these items is pretty cool uh, to do, I think. And uh, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate the support so far, um, especially uh, just recently it's been pretty crazy so thank you so much if you haven't already consider subscribing uh turn on the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest reselling content and i'm trying to think what else comment like the video and uh follow me on instagram at pro picker ohio and uh i'll see you guys in the next video thanks